everyone, and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Raincode. In the last episode, we began Chapter 4 and just did a bunch of side quests and three gabs. Took like an hour to get through those three gabs, though. Um, <laughs> look, I had, to, I had a lot to say during Desahikos. What can I say? Go back to that game to... Think of it. By the way, I, I lost Dimension is the name of the game, I'm pretty sure, that I was talking about in the, the Desu Eco free time event. Free time event? Gumshoe Gab. Come, come on, Nathan. Get that. Oh, get, the, get, the, get the terminology in your head. Anyway, uh, despite the fact that I, I, I have moved since where we ended last episode, I, I, haven't, I haven't done anything. I haven't, like, looked around for blue balls. I, I just moved us here so we could, you know... Get going right away. Um, and get going right away we shall. It's time to investigate. Find out where this secret lab is. Need something? You need something from me? Um, um, do you know anything about a secret lab? Oh, beats me. Doesn't ring a bell. Thank you very much. Oh, I see. Thank you. Great. I was really hoping these were going to be voiced, but <laughs> alas... Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. God, I will say, though, I think last, after last episode, which, sure, granted, was because it was probably, or was probably because it was two and a half hours long, uh, I think this is the, the first time in a long time I, I've ever had to, like, just break for a little minute because my fucking throat was in diabolical amounts of pain. Um, excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Have you heard about a secret lab? What? Huh? That sounds familiar. Or maybe not. Hey! Does anything come to mind? Anything at all? Uh, I think I saw a movie once with a similar title. It was a comedy about stupid scientific experiments. <sighs> Which, of course, is totally unrelated. Yes, it is. <laughs> Alas. But, um... Actually, no, I, I thought I had something else to say. No, I, d I definitely don't have anything else to add. Um, it's gonna be wandering uh, around now. Um, uh, excuse me, may I ask you something? Yes. Of course. I hope I can be of assistance. And that's what happened. Uh, do you know anything about the secret lab? The secret lab? I'm sorry, but I don't think I've heard of it before. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. You're actually doing the lab work like a real detective now. Yeah, thanks. Am I? Thanks, Shinigami. Yeah, compliment? I'm not used to getting those from you. I don't know if I like it. Hey. Hey, guess what? Huh? What? I just heard the most amazing rumor. Huh? huh? What happened to be about a secret lab? Huh? What's that? No, I heard that the lady down the block is cheating on her husband. Isn't that so interesting? Not really. What? No, what? What? Why did you say that? So you call me a liar? I'm a liar. I said it wasn't interesting? <laughs> hmm? What is it? Uh, um. Uh, hey! Don't talk to me! I'll kick your ass! Huh? Oh, no. oh, we better not talk to this guy. Well, great. I'm glad he was the last guy we spoke to. Oh, sweet. So, surely that means that Fubuki can get us a place in Kanai Tower, then. And I can hopefully go looking for Holler as blue balls. I guess talking to people around town doesn't yield much info. Yeah, figures though, right? Like, why would they know anything? And if they did, I don't think they'd tell us. We've been walking since the morning. I'm so tired. Me too! My legs are so stiff! Oh, shut up. Don't mock us with that bullshit. But you're flying. It's about to get dark, so let's just call it a day and return to the agency. Wait, are you sure? 
Huh? There's no need to be polite, if that's your intention. There's still one more place to go, right? This <laughs> closed off area? Where's that? The place with that masked guy. Isn't he the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? Oh, you mean Kane Tower? Great! I was just talking about that, Kurumi! Did you read my mind? Maybe oh, you'll find the you know. if you ask him. That's what you were thinking too, right, Yuma? Some people might call me psychic. Hmm. The way you said that, is that a reference to something? Oh, sorry, Yuma. I wasn't actually talking to you this time. Oh. Uh. Okay. Yo, Shinigami, do you think she has a weird ghost friend too? Weird! And no, she's flatty over there. Ain't cool enough to have a ghost friend. Or... Were you thinking of not bringing me with you because it's too dangerous? Oh no, I was actually just gonna go home. Um... I, <laughs> you're reading a little too much into this. I'm the city's best informant. I know my way around dangerous stuff. No, I'm not avoiding him for your sake, Kurumi. I just think he's kind of a weirdo. Personally, I don't know if he can be trusted. I think it's best we don't get involved with him. I agree. Master, even though you always rely on others, we should avoid that guy. But do you really need to trust someone to get information out of them? Yeah, I mean... I see what you're getting at, Kurumi, but... I mean... I'd rather trust someone to get me some trustable information than just get fed a bunch of bullshit. Granted, you know, a trusted person can also do that, but, eh, uh, you know. You need to be bold enough to use people to get the info you need. Well, I mean, true. Well, that's what my grandpa used to say anyway. It's worth the shot, don't you think? I mean, he, he did give us some info before. It can't hurt to try. Be bold enough to use people? Maybe that applies to detectives as well. Kurumi, you're more fit to be a detective than I am. That's not true. I'm just an informant. Also, I don't want to return to the agency empty-handed. Let's do as much as we can now. Yeah, let's go. Aww, I already warned you, but it looks like you made up your mind. Guess this date's gonna go on for a little bit longer. Ugh. The masked man Makoto Kagutsuchi lives on the top floor of Kanai Tower. I hope I can get to him without any issues. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, let's check, did any more side quests pop up? Nope! That means we're just gonna run straight there! Woo! We sure did! Oh, you really appreciate how massive it is. Yeah, shut up, Shinigami. He should be at the top floor of this tower. I see it all the time from far away. I kinda think it's a nice sword given how big it is. Yeah, especially with the weird like prongs coming out of it at all sides. Bit weird. But seeing it so close confirms it's actually worse than I thought. <laughs> Maybe don't tell him that, Kurumi. <laughs> Then again, Makoto seems like the kind of guy who'd be like, <laughs> Oh, you're so right. It is quite disgusting. But uh, a home's a home. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. He, he strikes me as that kind of guy. It was really easy to get inside. I thought security would be tight around here. Hi, Yuma. Welcome back. Come on in. I hate to say it, uh... <laughs> hate to say it, Kurumi. It probably is tighter than you think it is. That, that, that's usually when security's at its best. When you don't notice it's there. Welcome back? I've been here once before. Well, I guess if he says we can go in, let's just do it. I see a blue ball! <laughs> Be oh, hello. Me right around now. I just planted a melon seedling in the pot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> nope. 
I'm not gonna say what I, I just thought about planting a seed in his pot in that pose. No, 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 I'm not gonna say it. We'll have some juicy melons in about six months. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, oh, don't say juicy melons and look at me with that face. Wow, he's just as suspicious as always. There isn't a single security guard. Don't you think that's kind of careless given the situation? Any hired security would likely be spies or hitmen. Humans cannot be trusted. I leave security in the care of machines. Naturally, they're made by Amaterasu Corporation. I mean, I understand, but also... <laughs> they're made by Amaterasu Corporation? You were only able to enter so easily because I programmed security to let you in. See? See what I just said? I see. Thank you. Although they also, um, they, they also let this lady in with very little, uh, <laughs> very little difficulty. I feel like that might be a slight flaw with your, uh, security planning. Don't be a stranger. We're friends after all. Although, I didn't expect you to bring your girlfriend. Um, I'm from Etheria Academy. I'm- I'm sure he already knows your full name. Kurumi Wendy, right? I know you. You're the city's only informant. Huh? I love this city, so I know everything about it. Naturally, since you live here, that includes you. Isn't it obvious? I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he knows everything about you, Kurumi. I'm sure the only reason he doesn't know everything about you, Maris, is because he hasn't lived here long enough. Really? Um. Do you really know everything about this city? Yes, I'm always tracking everyone's IP addresses. I could dox anyone I wanted, but I wouldn't. I love them too much to do that. Okay, that's a little scary. Of course. <sighs> well, I'll be with you in a second. I just want to investigate your apartment a little bit. If you'll let me walk around. Okay, uh, where is it? Is it here? Yeah, it is. Gotta be hollerers, right? Yeah, now what one is this, though? This one is... Okay, it is the highest welcome. So let's peek at the microscopic world. Yeah, this one I have absolutely no idea about. Let's peek at the microscopic world. Like, what? what is there like a... an ant farm somewhere? <laughs> peek at the microscopic world. Because clearly, we're su whether or not we could get it yet, I suppose, is also up for debate, but... Let's peek at the microscopic world. Where would that be? Yeah, no, I don't have a, I, I, that one. I, I I don't have a fucking clue. Uh, but we'll, we'll check that one out later. I, I think after we uh, probably after we get kicked out of here. Let me just look around a bit more. You know, I, I, I kind of just want to take in the sights, take in the smells. <laughs> look at all the stuff in your kitchen. I mean, look, look at this. I bet he doesn't even know how to cook. <laughs> Actually, does he even eat? I mean, uh, this place is too pristine. I'll go upstairs. Tragic. Nothing in the corners. Oh, yo. Ah, this is paradise. Yeah, the, the, the tub. Ooh, the night view. I mean, it's always night, though. I was going to say when we said that it's getting dark, but like, isn't it always dark here? Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, it's his melons! This is... Are these melon seeds? So he actually planted some. Mm. That's a surprise! I thought for sure he was bullshitting you! <laughs> yeah, that is the exact turn of phrase I was gonna use to describe that, Shinigami. <laughs> I'm going to tear apart that expensive-looking sofa! You, you literally can't. Yuma, let's ask Mr. Makoto about it. Right. 
chilling out on the sofa looking like this. I heard there's a secret lab somewhere in Kanai Ward. Wow! You're going there straight out the gates? Hmm. Well, do you know about it? A secret lab, huh? Of course I know about it. I'm the CEO of Amaterasu, after all. I mean, f uh, yeah, you know, figures you'd have to, but, you know, you can never really be sure when there are power splinters going on. Huh? Really? Please tell us about it. What is this secret lab? Where is it and what's happening there? Now, now, calm down. While I can listen to 12 people speak at once, I have only one mouth I can answer with. Oh, so true. So true, King. So first, where is that lab, you ask? It's inside Amaterasu headquarters. <laughs> oh, that'll be easy to get to. <sighs> huh? Inside Amaterasu? It's not in the restricted area? I mean, that makes sense, right? That's why! She strung us along on a whim! I mean, yeah, she did say that, <laughs> though, right? Stop it! We have other stuff to worry about now! What's wrong? Was it so sensible that you didn't expect it? Isn't it rather obvious? Yeah, I know, right? I, I mean, I was also I was just about to say it. You'd probably know, right? Because people would go to the restricted area fairly frequently. However, that might mean that Hollera is currently dying by being exposed to real poison gases. Only internal personnel can enter Amaterasu Corporation. It's the most secure place in this city. So, you could get inside then, right? Of course. But it's not as suspicious as you might think. Please tell us more. What is happening in there? Basically, it's got nothing to do with the homunculus research, so uh, you're probably not really that interested, huh? You really want to know about the research that badly? Yes, I do. First, you must tell me the reason behind it. Why do you want to know about this secret lab? The reason... I don't think it's smart to disclose that it's a directive from the World Detective Organization. Well, then we don't have to say that part. We could just be like, hey, well, we've heard about this ultimate secret, and we're wondering if it has something to do with this lab. After all, aren't you speaking to the head of Amaterasu Corp? I know. I'm here to take advantage of him, not the other way around. Sometimes you've got to be bold, though. Grab life by the <laughs> balls. You're frowning. What's on your mind? Don't tell me. I have an inkling. Don't worry. I'm on your side. I don't trust a man whose belt buckle I can see. <laughs> if you're worried about my wordage, then let me put it another way. At the very least, I am not your enemy. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I said this way back when we first met him, right? Very, um... Enemy of my enemy is my friend, considering the whole relationship he seems to have with Yomi. In fact, I believe you detectives may be saviors, who shall right all wrongs here in Kanai Ward. That's why I gave you the submarine, after all. <clears throat> True. Right now, I'm trying to investigate Kanai Ward's hidden secrets. I've learned about the immortal monsters known as homunculi. The existence of a secret lab may be related. Could it be that homunculus research is being conducted in that lab? Research on those immortal monsters. Oh, yeah. Bugged out a little bit there. I, I, I've noticed that. I don't know if it's because, again, my Switch is fucking decades old. <laughs> okay, well, obviously not that old, but you know. That, that's a fucking day one Switch over there. Wow. Uh, because like, the game seems pretty stable for the most part. It's only really in cutscenes or anything like bugs out. And I haven't noticed that in, like, any other game I've played. So it could also be that I'm, you know... I mean, I, I, I probably... I, I shouldn't be pushing the Switch a little harder just because I'm using the capture card as well, but... I mean, it could be. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, usually on a console-by-console -console basis rather than, like, a game-by-game -game basis. Um, but, you know, I actually uh, recording it can 
uh, be a little more taxing than just hooking it up to the TV. Although, for the most part, I, I've never really seen problems with a switch with this before. At least personally. I can't really speak for other people. <laughs> Immortal monsters? Speaking of which, you did ask me what I knew about homunculi. No matter how strange this town may be, no such monsters exist here. Well, you're saying, like, monsters and stuff, right? But, like... Aren't you the one who already told us the homunculi are real? It's impossible for that kind of research to be done in Kanai Ward. In Kanai Ward? The only ones in this city are the people I love. There are no monsters to be had here. But the Resistance Leader was certain homunculi exist! It's true! My grandpa told me that kind of research was being done. Oh, Kurumi, if you say it like that, it makes it sound like Shachi was your grandfather. Well, it is true that Amaterasu does many kinds of research. Maybe they appear suspicious to those left uninformed. For example, in regenerative medicine, we conduct research on cell regeneration and develop pharmaceutical drugs. But I've never heard about creating immortal monsters. Yeah, well, you, you keep on using that turn of phrase, though, right? So maybe our, our homunculi aren't immortal monsters, then. Or maybe immortal is really... Well, I mean, our monsters is probably also a part of it, but maybe our, our homunculi here aren't immortal. Then, homunculi don't exist? Well, he didn't say that. I can answer your question easily enough. However, <coughs> you won't be convinced. No matter what I say. <coughs> Jeez! Oh, still kind of a hitch in my throat today. Ugh. Sorry about that. So why don't you go and see the answer for yourself? Well, uh, it'd be very nice, but... See the answer? How? I don't know if we're going to be able to get away with that, good sir. If you come with me, you can get into the secret lab. You could go and see for yourself. Well, well, I mean, in that case... Huh? Are you sure? Still, I mean, if Yomi found out, I think we'd get a quick slap in the, um... Everywhere, as he very violently murdered us. Actually, this is great timing. I was already considering inviting you there. What do you mean? Well, I can go into more detail at the lab. However, I can only bring one person. I can't keep an eye on a big group. Well, what if we were just like, I don't know, holding hands the whole time? That, that's kind of like my thing. The more people there are, the higher chance you'll be found by the peacekeepers. Uh, okay, well, that's a good point. Is it bad if they find us? Well, why don't we just have Desuhiko disguise her as a peacekeeper? That area is off limits to non-employees with no exceptions. It's the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, so to speak. I mean, valid. What yeah. about me? Can I follow you? I said only one may enter. I'm fine with it if you wish to go instead of Yuma. No, I'll go. Please take me to the secret lab. Yeah, now's when I'm gonna be like, that's a little too dangerous, Kurumi. This is my business, not yours. Yuma. I too agree you should be the one to go. Going there comes with risking your life. I really want to see you risk your life, Yuma. Do it for me. Uh... You know, I, I've been thinking this ever since I, I came in here to see you lounging like this. You're not coming on to me, are you? Even though I'm with you, you should be well prepared for that. Oh, be well prepared for quick time events that I will almost inevitably fail. Master, you sure it's going to be okay? I have a really bad feeling about this. Hey, it's been getting a little warmer recently, though. My, my fingies aren't so numb right now. Granted, uh, my, my toes are a little purple, but, you know, my fingers... They're, 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 they're fine. But we're slowly inching toward the truth. I can't retreat now. That settles it. I have some things to take care of, so let's meet up later. Let's see... How about we meet at the station? You should go and talk to your friends before then. It might be the last time you see them. Oh, don't say that. The last time? <laughs> oh, man. Which reminds me, 
I want you to keep that we're visiting the lab a secret from your friends. I wish to keep things peaceful. We'll go quietly, take a look, then head back. Understand? I mean, if we did tell Holler, I have a funny feeling that they'd absolutely obliterate every peacekeeper in the way just to join us. Yes. I'll see you later then. Oh, you're gonna be doing some sneaking? Oh no, Kurumi. If I have to bail you out of trouble again, I swear to god. Well, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't be a Maya, is what I'm saying. We should go back to the Nocturnal Detective Agency for now. Yeah. Hmm. Romance is in the air. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not at the moment. Uh, what? Yeah, I, uh, I don't think that was the emotion you were supposed to be picking up there, Shinigami. But okay. About time. We finally get the third gab with Halara. Well, finally for me, once this fucking loading screen goes. Yo, back alleys, and Yuma isn't even here. He's fucking dead. This is medicine for the soul. What are you doing, Halara? Uh, uh, I could ask you the same thing. Yo, Halara. Be surprised a little more often, that's kinda cute. <laughs> the chief asked me to do some shopping. I just happened to see you, Halara. Yeah, and then I got wrapped into chapter two. Why are you staring at cat pictures in the dark? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. You were watching? Wow, you really were looking at cat photos. I just used logical deduction. That was a bluff? You of all people? Uh, no. But I have seen you looking at cat photos before. Do you own a cat or something? <laughs> no, this is just a photo of a cute cat. I find it calming, so I carry it with me. Understandable. You know, if you had a pet cat, though, it, studies show that uh, having a pet and having physical contact with that pet is uh, pretty good for your uh, your mental health. In fact, in some ways, it's actually speculated that it might be good for your physical health as well. well that's, a, that's a discussion for another time on a different channel. Oh, really? What? You look like you have something to say. Yeah, it's just cuter than I thought it would be. No, it's nothing like that. I'm just happy to see a human side of you. Wow, rude! Jesus, Yuma! I didn't expect you to be a cat lover. That's not surprising. I know full well it doesn't fit my image, so I hide my affection for cats. I don't know, Halara, you kind of remind me of a cat in a weird way, you know? Standoffish. Kind of a piece of shit. But loving in your own way. You, you remind me of a cat, Halara. I hope you understand you are not to tell anyone about this. Right, I, I won't. But why do you like cats so much? It's none of your concern. But you don't want me to tell anyone, right? Is that a threat? You're really threatening me? Yeah, well, I mean... You could make my debt go away, and I'd, uh, forget all about this. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> You've grown braver since the day I met you. The reason why I like cats isn't a simple subject. Yeah, it's just to be uh, a bit coy and playful there. I, I saw him drop the wink when he's like, uh-huh. What do you think is the best thing about cats? Oh, huh? the best thing? The best thing? Wow. Well, uh, I'm a cat person myself, but I don't know. I don't know what the, the simple answer is. I mean, as a pet, it's just like, you know, I, I wouldn't really keep up with a dog, you know? Couldn't really, like, take it out that often. 
Uh, I'm not that physically affectionate myself, so, uh, you know, I couldn't really have a dog that's all over me. A cat just, like, fits my personality a little bit better, you know? Friends when you wanna, play when they wanna, but, like, not all the time, you know? Mo most of the time they're like, fuck you. <laughs> it's my, my kind of animal. <laughs> their shape, their freedom. Well, actually, I guess, in a way, it is the freedom, right? Uh, you know, they, they, they do whatever the fuck they want. So I'm going to give them my answer. It's their freedom. How That's what I like the most. free they are? It's true that cats are free to do as they please. That is not what I was thinking, but you do have a point. Cats behave freely with elegance. You could say they embody freedom. There are some who would call them selfish. But those words don't hold weight. Those who criticize cats are nothing but marionettes shaped like humans. So true, so true. Down with dog people, cat people rise up. Like, and you think lizard people run the government? Yeah, sorry, bozo cat people do. Hey, I, I That wasn't really a, an AO moment, but... I still did it anyway. But the freedom-loving nature of cats being their most charming quality is still debatable. I've never seen Halara contemplate something so seriously. Well, uh, you know, it, it's a worthy discussion topic. Um, what's the best thing about cats? Their most charming quality. It's hard to choose. Sometimes you just like everything about them. Yes, exactly. Huh? There is no way to determine a cat's single greatest trait. Yeah. Yeah. The elements Based. that comprise cats, the information they emit, all are equally valuable. The information they emit? I see. Moreover, I can list every charming quality cats have and discuss them in extreme detail. Oh, no, please. Go ahead. Let's begin with the obvious topics. For example, their fragrance. This is bad. It's going into super obsessive territory. No, 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 no. Go for it, go for it. Maybe Halara is happy to finally talk to someone about cats, since this side is usually hidden. Stop this soon, otherwise it'll never end. Um, if you like cats so much, have you ever wanted to own one yourself? That's... Is she allergic? Is she allergic to cats? <sighs> huh? What's wrong? I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, I, I thought so. D don't worry, Halara. My dad, great lover of cats. Also very allergic to cats. <laughs> I have quite a lot of friends, love cats, and dogs, and are allergic to both. It happens, man. It happens. It is tragic. But, you know, there is a lot of medicine that you can take to, like, at least suppress it. Granted, owning it would probably make things really tough. But, like, still, you know? I mean, my, my dad was just like, yeah, <laughs> oh well, I'm allergic to cats. Ah, oh well. We'll still have one anyway. Oh. For some reason, whenever I touch a cat, my skin becomes itchy. I've tried several times and it always happens. I'm, I'm sorry, Halara. Jeez. Who made me this way? I see. It's a shame Halara is allergic to cats. To think a master detective has this sort of weakness. I can't help but feel sympathetic. Oh, I, I feel bad. Not being able to pet a cat? That's terrible. You know the, the number of cats that I pet when I'm just walking around, like, to and from university? I just walk up, nuzzle my leg, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm about to lose 10 minutes petting this cat on the side of the road. If I couldn't do that, life's not worth li It's just not worth living, man. There's a cat that's got, like, this really stubby tail. I, like, I, I'm pretty sure it's it's been uh, kicked off at some point. But like, oh man, you know, I walk back from the town center to go home. 
and it just like waddles up to me on the path, just like nuzzles around my legs, goes through some circles. If I couldn't pet that cat, I'd have to take a different fucking route home. I, 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 I it, it ruined my life. It ruined my life. And I, I completely understand Hollera's bitterness. Well, I don't, but I, I, I could understand it feeling bitter about it. <laughs> Master, you and Hollera seem to have grown even closer. Good. This is exactly what, this is what I need from Hollera. Need to know them on such a deep level. Need to know all about their likes and dislikes. All about their cat-loving nature. I need to know it all. Do it for them. Do it for them. Be careful, by the way, in, like, the poison gas area, Hollera. Probably a good idea to, um, gas mask up. Oh, honey, I'm home! Chief, I'm back. Hmm? Oh. Was that a letter? Yeah, what were you reading there? I guess even Buzzheads have pen pals. His hair has nothing to do with the letter. There's still some time before the meetup. Maybe now's a good time for goodbyes and farewells to Buzzhead and the Blatty. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wash my face in the sink. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, just gotta go, go to the toilet real quick. Oh, have a quick shower. Oh, great. Okay. Yuma. Um. No. Forget it. It's nothing. Don't do anything stupid, Kurumi. Kurumi. Don't do anything stupid now, okay? You hear? You hear me? See my, see my little face? Ser my serious little face? Don't you do anything stupid now, okay? I'll judge you. I'll judge you real hard. Maybe we can hold hands later afterwards. Okay, what up, boss? How's the investigation going? Seeing your gloomy face, I guess I shouldn't have to ask. There's no need to rush it. Good job, Karumi. Now that you're here, why don't you make yourself at home? Thank you. If you don't mind. I gotta activate activate dad mode, Yako. <laughs> it might be the last time you see them. The last time. I'm about to go someplace very dangerous. After all, it's a secret lab inside of Amaterasu Corporation. Yeah, don't worry, Yuma. We've got another chapter at least after this to go, I'm sure. Chief Yaku helped me so much. And now, I might not ever see him again. Why, why are you- you're like resigning yourself to dying, Yuma. Like, come on, What's buddy. What's wrong, Yuma? You look awfully tired. Hey, you better not have gotten mixed up in some strange trouble again, got it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well... Not yet, I haven't. No, that's not it. And besides, I mean, and I'm sure uh, Makoto obviously knows this as well. If you do suddenly disappear, Kurumi's gonna know. <laughs> She'll be able to tell everyone. You sure? Well, all right. You made the same face when we first met the Amaterasu Express. Things were completely crazy back then. Frankly, I'm surprised you even survived. Not cool, Yako. You know everyone else died on that train. Thank you. For everything. So, did you get any of your memories back since then? Yeah, that's kind of been a... a, a not main part of the plot so far. No, not at all. I see. Well, don't worry about it. You can live without your past memories. Sometimes, you're better off forgetting them altogether. Is your past like that, Chief Yako? Yeah, we haven't got to that point in your gaps yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of it. The things I want to forget, things that I can't forget. Right. I have zero interest in Busset's past. You shut up, Shinigami. I have interest. I was wondering, do you have 
have some kind of forte? Huh? Me? I don't got a forte at all. I'm no master detective, just a regular one. I trained at the WDO when I was younger, but I never managed to attain my own forte. But to be clear, that's the norm. Alara and Fubuki are pretty exceptional. My colleagues who couldn't become master detectives gave up on their entire detective careers. You never gave up? Yeah, <laughs> it's my pride as a failure. And besides, there's something I want to protect in this town. What's that? Oh, is it a lover? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, you're fairly close, but that's not exactly it. To me, this town is my life. My bitter past, my fun memories, they're all right here. I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach. I mean, we kind of already knew that about him, but... Hey, it's good, it's good to hear him just say it so candidly. But it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. I mean, Frank, I, I, I don't blame you, Yako. You'd be up shit's creek with literally... You're not even in a canoe in this creek, let alone without a paddle. Please, help me save this city. So that's what he was feeling when he said that. I think I finally understand the weight of those words. Yeah. I wonder how much the chief has lost in this place. Compared to that, my memories seem insignificant. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, a detective grows stronger the more he is lost. In that sense, you have a lot of potential, Yuma. Yeah, I've got like a, a question mark, question mark, question mark amount of years that have just poofed. No, I'm just... Hey, hang on, don't get me wrong here. I'm worried day and night you'll get us dragged into even more trouble. S sorry Yeah, seriously, man, I'm getting gray hairs over here. Please don't get in over your head. Well, I can't really promise anything. Anyway, hey, Kurumi, you want to say goodbye? No? Yeah, me either. I know I may be overstepping my bounds by saying I'm worried about you. No, it's okay. That's just what friends are for. Oh. <sighs> wow, it's even more romantic now. Yeah, shut up. That's not even... You're a piece of shit, Shinigami. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? I, nothing at all. <laughs> hey, come on. If something's bothering you, talk to me about it, okay? I'm still chief of the detective agency that's overseeing you. Understood. Thank you. Even if you wanted to, there's nothing you can say to him now. Especially after he told you to stay out of trouble. Yeah, well, look, this is important. This is part of our big mission. I'm sorry, Probably. Chief. The rest of the crew about to come filing in. Master, I think it's time. Yeah. Um, Chief Yako? What's up? I've just remembered something, so can I go investigate it? Right now? Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Yeah, not, not the best excuse you might, but uh, yeah, you know. Wouldn't expect you to have the best lines. Yes, I gotta check it right now. I'm sorry, but I have to go. That wasn't suspicious hey. at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, there she goes. Hold on! Kurumi too? What's going on? Oh, don't worry. You're- Oh! <sighs> Didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't see you there, Vivia. Oh, you scared me! Vivia, <laughs> were you there the whole time? I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I looked in the fireplace. He was definitely not in oh, there. Chief, good morning. Good morning? Do you even know what time it is? It's morning somewhere in the world. Where did he go? 
You mean Yuma? He ran out, saying there's something he wants to investigate. It's about to be the fastest Vivia has ever moved in his life. Hmm. I see. Like a thunderbolt in spring, the pale blue blink in the far-off night sky. Blue? Soon, blue a storm will arrive. Huh? He is dangerous. What did you say? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I just want to stay asleep. God, I love this eerie sound playing in my ear right now. <sighs> I want to die someday. Wait, you're going back to sleep? You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man. So really unfortunate timing, though. We're not even an hour in. <sighs> Can't just end here, but it feels like it feels like a good place to end is the problem. Hmm. Hmm. Yuma, please come back safely. Well, as I said, we've still got one more chapter. I, I think I'll be fine. Take care. It makes me worried how she said that so solemnly. I feel like a soldier going to war. Yeah, as I said, so romantic. I mean, it's the same thing. Hey, this could be even worse than the battlefield. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, we should head to Kanai Station and meet up with Makoto. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be good. Sure. Come back in one piece, okay? We'll be waiting here. Yeah, no promises, you know, I, look, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna have, like, full cybernetics, I, I'm gonna be the coolest guy in town. I really thought that was something that's just water coming down. I mean, I knew it wasn't, like, a blue ball, it wasn't blue, but I was really confused. Well, okay, yeah, I, I got bamboozled by water, okay? <laughs> Master detective over here. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. It's mostly, uh, there are bits and pieces that I'll have to cut out of this episode, so... I don't know, we could have a short one if I just... Cut us after we talk to Makoto for a little bit. You know, after we eventually reach the, the station. Better hurry to the meeting point. It's alright, you know, I, I've been... I've been wandering these streets and sewers long enough now. I, I kind of vaguely know the direction of things. See? Record time. I mean, could I have just fast traveled? Yeah, sure. Would have saved me a loading screen or two, but, uh, you know. I mean, you don't know. There's, there's nothing to know, but... You know. See? He's still not here? You just walked on in. Didn't take the bus. It's canon. See? Maybe he's waiting in a car. Let's check around the roundabout area. Oh, there's a car. Oh, yellow car, lion statues. He's in that car. Now that was definitely not here before. <laughs> was it here before? Well... Well now I look like an absolute moron. <laughs> oh man, well now that's, now, now that's making me think I've got to find... Desuhiko and Yako is number four as well. Patrolling. Find the secret of the toys. Dude, these hints are useless. <laughs> it doesn't like... Yeah, it doesn't like tell me anything more specific. Like whether I can get it or not. If I'm like... Ooh. Right? Yeah. Well, actually it did list conditions there, so I guess it could be multiple, but... Oh, are you in that? Yeah, he's in that car. Oh, man, already? Oh, already? Oh, 
maybe we will have a short episode then. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. And actually, well, uh, yeah, actually, actually, that does mean that I could potentially do a once over of the city again. Just to uh, see if I can grab any more of our memories for next time. Granted, I, again, like this left part of the map here, beyond the riverbank, I feel like we're probably going to go there at some point. Otherwise, like, why include it on the map, you know? So. There, there'll definitely be some that we can't get, but there are also equally some that we can definitely get. And by some, I mean this one. Let's peek at the microscopic world. I don't know where it is. We better believe I'm going to go try and find it. Like the rest of them, find the secret of the toys. Like, I don't know. Let's peek at the microscopic world. I still don't know. Patrolling. I mean, these two, right? Patrolling and let's and find the secret of the toys seems like something you might find in a lab, right? I know, like, robots and stuff are clearly going to have some role to play in this chapter. So, like, maybe in amongst the robots. And, like, patrolling, then that could make sense with, like, the, the, the peacekeepers wandering back and forth, you know? And, like, beyond the red bridge, that seems... I mean, I don't think we've seen a red bridge yet, so, you know. Something to keep in mind for Vivia there. Treasure at the construction site? I don't... I don't think we've seen a construction site. I uh, My initial thought was this is like the restricted zone or whatever, right? Going home because I'm scared. I mean, if it's home, then maybe we'll find it on the boat in like chapter 5 or something. And this won't fit in the mail. That's... And then Princess Kag Kaguya in the bamboo grove. That still got me thinking it's going to be Scientil to do, like, with a moon. You know, because the whole Princess Kaguya story. But. <clears throat> Maybe it'll just be in a bamboo grove. Not that we've seen one of those yet. So. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do a quick once-over of the city again. Between episodes. And then we'll, uh... We'll take a joyride with Makoto to hopefully find some more orbs. So yeah, maybe next time we'll have a, a gap with both. Why did you, how did you just self-combust, Shinigami? Maybe we'll have a gap with both Fubuki and Halara. Maybe it'll just be Fubuki. Who knows? Well, you will know. You'll find, well, I mean, we're, we're both going to know different points in, in time. We will know. You will know next time. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. For can you believe it? short episode ones? It's like classic me. Classic me. Well, not classic me. I guess nowadays classic me is like hour and a half, but I haven't even breached an hour. It's incredible. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.